In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the Code GPT code review tool, where we will monitor all the Git commits and Git pushes made to your repository on GitHub through a complete report in Slack. To do this, we must start by going to the connection section and ensuring that we have the connection with GitHub and the connection with Slack within our Code GPT account. Once we have the connection ready, we go to the applications menu and click on Git commit. Here it will explain that by connecting your repositories in Bitbucket, GitLab, or GitHub, we can create complete reports, either by sending them to email, Discord, or Slack with a simple slash command code GBT. To create this entire bot and process, we only need to connect our GitHub account, then select the connection, the organization, and finally select the repository. In this case, I'm going to select the repository of the documentation of the code GBT Visual Studio Code extension. In order to create this report, we also need to connect our Slack account. In this case, we connect Slack and the code GBT workspace that we already have set up. Within our workspace on GitHub, I will select the Git channel that I created exclusively to generate these automatic reports through this platform. Once the connection is established, we can see that everything is ready, and now we simply need to make changes in our repository and see how the automatic reports are generated. Once we have everything connected, we simply need to enter our project in Visual Studio Code, and the change we are going to make is an update to the documentation of the CodeGPT Visual Studio Code extension, where we will add the new models that can now be used within the Grok provider. These are the new models Llama 3.2 that are not yet in the documentation on our website at CodeGPT, and we are going to add them. We can see that we only have the 3.1 models in this case, so we can preview within the documentation, and what we are going to do is add these new models because they are already within the extension, and I want to include them in the documentation of the CodeGPT extension. I already have the change ready here, I just need to add these four new models. And with this, we can already detect that the change was made within our repository. We will add it to the stage so that the change is included in our commit, and we will add the commit message. In this case, it will be auto-completed with GPT, and we will add the execution parameter so that our complete report of the changes we just made is created in Slack. In this case, once we have uploaded our changes to the repository, we can see that a first message arrives in Slack. In this case, it is the summary of the commit. We can see that it is within the Git channel that we linked earlier. We can see the commit details, the commit ID that we just made, and we can also see the message that we just wrote in Visual Studio Code, the time and date when the commit was made, who made it, in this case it was me, and we can see the file that was modified. We also have a before 3.1 and after the changes. We will see that there were only the 3.1 models, and now we have the 3.2 models, which are the changes I just made. Additionally, we can see that we have a complete summary. 1. Explanation of the changes here explains that the changes were made to update the Llama 3.2 models from the series of models within Grow. We can also see potential errors. In this case, it was such a minimal change that there are no potential errors, some recommendations. And we can also see a general summary of this change at the end of our report in Slack. What we are going to do now is add a small error in our code. For example, we will remove the S from HTTP in this image we have in the documentation. We resend the slash code GPT to regenerate this report, which monitors our code, and we can see that the report is being generated. The commit has already arrived in Slack. We can see that the complete report has been generated with a full analysis of what I just did. In this case, we can see the before and after of the change. The S was removed from HTTP, and we can see the explanation for this change. In this case, it was a somewhat strange change because we simply removed an HTTPS and took the S off HTTP from this security protocol, indicating that we already have potential errors and security vulnerabilities if we do not use an encrypted communication protocol like HTTP. Some browsers might even block these images. The agent we have monitoring the repository automatically detects changes, checks that they have been made correctly, reviews potential issues, and also informs us of possible security risks associated with making this change. The agent does all of this automatically, and here we will add the S again so that it does not have this security issue. The code GBT agent made everything automatic, it completely connected the repository to our Slack channel, and now we have an agent that will be listening and monitoring all the changes we make to our repository. In this way, we can have a much more secure repository, we can monitor the changes, our entire team can review the changes being made, and we have automation of the code review that we previously conducted manually.